everybody, welcome back to the second video in the series of Master PC Builder How-Tos, a series that is dedicated for you guys to show high quality how-to videos regarding everything PC. In this video, we're gonna be doing an installation guide on how to install memory with some helpful tips. Check it out. RAM, in my opinion, is the easiest piece of hardware to install, but you still wanna verify that the memory is compatible with the motherboard. The first thing that you want to check is the generation such as DDR3 or DDR4. Yes, DDR3 is still relevant even though we are waiting for the release of DDR5. Generally speaking, modern day motherboards are capable of high capacity memory, but you still want to double check. The last thing that I want to bring up is the frequency, which is the clock speed that's measured in megahertz. I've noticed throughout the years, a lot of different people will install the memory, see that everything works fine, see that the PC boots up fine, but they don't mess with any of the settings. So towards the end of the video, we will be verifying the clock speed frequency in the BIOS along with the installation on Windows 10. Before we install the stick of RAM module to the motherboard, let's go ahead and take a look at the RAM within itself. Notice how from here up until this notch, it's a little bit longer, and then from the notch rightward, it's a little bit shorter. That's crucial to know because RAM within itself can only be installed in one direction. Now on your motherboard, you have four different RAM slots or DIMM slots. This is an ATX size board, meaning that there's gonna be four. You might have anywhere from one to eight or anything in between, really depending on your size of the board. Regardless, this still applies to you. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the RAM installation. RAM needs to be installed in a specific order. Notice this little picture right here. This shows where the RAM needs to be installed first. If you don't have this on your motherboard, double check your motherboard manual to check where it needs to be installed. It shows that it needs to be installed in this one and this one. I highly recommend installing two or four pieces of memory because we want to take full advantage of dual channel mode. Lastly, if you're gonna install RAM, make sure it all matches. Check the card above the video if you wanna see another video I posted about installing different sets of RAM. It's doable, but highly not recommended. Now we're ready to install the memory on the motherboard. Notice how on the motherboard there's these little retention levers. On this board, we're gonna be doing the two and the four. Your motherboard might also have the retention levers on this side as well. Just make sure that they're down on the ones that you wanna install the memory on. Like I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, the memory is gonna have one side that's longer. Make sure that that longer side matches with the longer side on the actual slot. When we install it, we're gonna go like this, put it in evenly, put pressure from left to right until you hear the clicks. Perfect. One installed, let's go ahead and install the second one. The same thing, make sure the longer side is on the top, push down evenly from left to right until you hear the clicks. Perfect. Both of the RAMs are installed. Now that we install the memory on the motherboard, we need to verify that everything's working correctly. We're gonna go through some settings in BIOS and then on Windows 10. We wanna go ahead and boot up the computer into BIOS. If you're not sure how to get here, you need to simply click either the delete key or the F2 on your keyboard. Just keep on spamming it right when you turn the computer on. This will get you into your computer's BIOS. Your interface might look a little bit different than mine. I'm obviously running an MSI motherboard. If you're running an ASUS, a Gigabyte motherboard, it could obviously look a little bit different but the setting that we're looking for is pretty much gonna be consistent across the board. It's just a matter of how you find that setting. On the top, there's the easy mode, so let's go ahead and click on that. Here on the left side, there's the CPU, memory, storage, fan information, and help. We wanna click on the memory. This is gonna show the default value that the motherboard has chosen for the frequency of the memory. This value might be a little off. If it is, then obviously we're gonna correct it. If you look here on the right side, you can see the different dim locations of where your RAM is installed. Ours is installed in the correct location. It's also important to note that you see something where you installed the RAM because we wanna verify that it is installed and it's actually indeed working. So the fact that we're getting an output here is good. So from here, we wanna go back to the advanced button. Go ahead and click on that. We're gonna go ahead and head to the overclock settings. This is where you would go if you wanted to overclock the memory or the CPU. The setting that we're looking for is the DRAM frequency, so go ahead and click on that. The one that we're looking for is 3200. 
But this list goes all the way from 1600 to 6000. So obviously there's a lot of different speeds of memory on the market. You just want to make sure that you are consistent with what you purchased. There is also the auto feature up here, which I'm not really too hot on just because I've seen too many errors. So I like to be really direct with what I purchased. So in this case, it's 3200. Some of you guys might see on your motherboard the FCLK frequency, better known as the fabric clock. For the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and keep it on auto. If you're wanting to learn more about this, check the description below for some helpful resources. And that's pretty much going to be it for the BIOS settings. What you need to do now is go ahead and exit out of here and boot up into Windows. Now on Windows 10, there's two things that I want to show you. The first thing can be found if you go to the search bar and type in control panel. Bring that up. This is going to bring in your computer's settings. We're going to click on the system and security and then click on system. This will show that the installed RAM is correct because we did purchase and install 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is going to be broad, so this is pretty much just a verification of that. Go ahead and exit out of these two. Again, go to the search bar and type in the task manager. Bring this up. If you're not too familiar with the task manager, it's pretty useful. You can close uh, different background processes. You can view information on the performance. You can look at app history. You can change the startup programs. Uh, you can look at the users that are on the computer at the moment, details and just different services. The one that we're going to be going into is the performance. So let's go ahead and click on that. You have the CPU, memory, disk, or the hard drives, SSDs, whatever you have installed, the Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable, and the GPU that you have installed. We're going to go ahead and click on the memory. This is going to show all the information down here of the memory that's installed. The speed is 3200 megahertz. So this does verify that we changed the setting correctly within the BIOS. So that's perfect. So that's going to wrap it up for the verification on Windows 10. That's gonna wrap it up for this video, you guys. I appreciate you guys viewing this video. Do me a favor, leave me a comment if you have any suggestions for any future content or interact with me on the Insta at Master PC Builder. Until next time.